Hi, I'm Lorraine from Simply English Edinburgh. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm joined by Synod and Synod up until he took the C2, the CPE proficiency exam, last week has been a student of mine for quite a while so I'm really happy to have him on here today to discuss his experience with the exam. So Sinek, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks, good. So you did the exam last week. Mm -hmm. How yeah. did it go? How did it go? So actually, the reading news of English was, that was all right. Um, the listening and speaking, that was really difficult, um, especially speaking, because mm -hmm. I was so nervous and when I'm nervous, I can't, I can't speak. Mm -hmm. um, and I, my brain just froze and I didn't know what to say. And that's probably the worst thing that can happen to you when mm -hmm. you're in an exam. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, but I'll see. I'll yeah, see. see how it went. And yeah. you said like you, you froze in the moment. Was there any technique or was there anything you were able to do to kind of overcome that feeling? Were you able to just kind of keep talking or how did it go? Yeah, I think the best thing in such a situation is to do is um, that just keep going. Mm -hmm. Just keep going, try to say something. Um, it doesn't matter if it's related to the topic or not. Um, yeah, as long as it's good English. And mm -hmm. I mean, that's what they are basically there mm -hmm. for, you yeah. know, to mark yeah. your English. And, yeah. yeah, that's it. So obviously you took formal classes with us at Simply English Edinburgh to prepare specifically for the exam. Mm. Can you talk us through a little bit of the of the preparation, so like both classes and outside of the classroom, what were you doing to prepare for this exam? Mm. So I would have classes um, two, hours a, two hours a day, I think. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you did yeah. have 10 hours a week with us, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so we'd do that and we would have at some days we would have, you know, like exam preparation and at some days just general English mm -hmm. which you definitely need, um, especially for, I think, the proficiency exam because yeah. it's, it's an all, overall English exam. Um, so, yeah, and after class I went home and studied probably four hours a day, mm -hmm. four hours more, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was yeah. me. So it really depends on the person, I think, doesn't it? Because just for a little bit of context, since when you arrived with us, you had about a B2 level of English, right? Mm. That's uh, just under a year ago. Uh, so obviously to get from B2 to C2 is, is a massive achievement, but it did require, as you said, like 10 hours of class plus four hours per day of self-study. You were living with a host family as well. So um, it, it is, it's, it's a big, like, you know, even if you, didn't pass the exam, the jump in your English was massive in that period of time, right? Yeah, it was a massive yeah. jump, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy where I am now um, mm -hmm. today. Um, I mean, I can have a conversation with anyone. And mm -hmm. It's just great. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. good. I mean, C2 is the kind of exam that like a lot of maybe you watching are, are thinking about taking. Um, and it's the kind of exam that a lot of even my former students have said like, how do I know when I'm ready? And you're kind of never ready because as you said, it's an all encompassing mm. exam at such a high level. So how did you kind of decide you were ready or was it a teacher that kind of said, okay, let's book it, you're ready, you're ready to go? <laughs> don't know if I have a, an answer um, yeah. for this one, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> the, you know, how, how did you decide like, let's book it, let's go? I just, I think, I never even had that feeling. Yeah, yeah. I just went for it. Um, obviously, you know, you, you did some self-study. Mm. You worked some, you did a lot of self-study. You lived with a host family, you took classes. Is there anything else that you feel that people can do to prepare for this exam? Read a lot, read more than I do. I hate reading. Um, so that's a good advice. I mean, mm. yeah. uh, you can get so much from just reading a book or, you know, vocabulary, um, grammar, or just expressions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So reading, you think reading. is important. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's really good. 
have you any advice for someone who is thinking about taking the exam in 2024 or beyond even? What, what would you say now that you can reflect on how you prepared? Like, is there anything that you would say, okay, do it like this? Or is there anything maybe you would have done differently given the chance? <clears throat> I know that we've talked about that, uh, like, that I studied for like six hours a day. And I think I would do it now differently. Mm because um, it's just too much. Probably four hours a day is, mm -hmm. is enough. Yeah. I mean, just revise and like go over the stuff that you've learned and, and you'll be fine, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And um, one thing that I personally noticed um, you doing was when it got to kind of like about a month before the exam, um, we weren't doing any new material, right? We were just mm -hmm. kind of revising. And I know with your other teacher as well, you were kind of Work, working more on revision and on like really internalizing what you had already learned and making sure that was fresh rather than adding more and more new material. Mm -hmm. I think that's important that you kind of need to realize like when enough is enough and when to work on what you kind of already have rather than adding new stuff. So I think that's a really good piece of advice and something that I, I did see you doing and, and working on really well. Mm -hmm. So now I guess we just have to wait for the result, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are what are kind of your goals with English going forward? Because it's a massive achievement to, to get to this level to take the exam. How do you see yourself using English in the future? <laughs> so I'm not sure yet, but I think I'd like to become a teacher, an English teacher. Yeah. Um, just yeah, maybe move to Scotland, um, work here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably. That's how I'd like to use my English. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. It's been an absolute pleasure having you as a student and thank you for taking the time to share your experience. And if you do have any questions about this exam, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, like, subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.